All right, everybody. So today we're going to show you how to get GE Proton installed and working. You've probably seen videos where people ask you or show you about this GE Proton. Use GE Proton 714, 719, whatever. But you probably don't have this because, well, the deck doesn't ship with GE Proton. So I'm going to show you how to get the right tools and install these. We're going to open the Discover app. You're going to search for Proton and you are going to find a product called ProtonUp-QT. I've already got it installed, so the only option I have is to remove it. But once you install it, you can run it from your menu. There's ProtonUp-QT. Give it a moment. Okay. And there we go. So it'll show you here that I've got several Proton versions installed already. Each takes about a gig if I remember right. So you don't want to keep the unused ones around. So I'm going to go ahead and remove these. And there's a reason why I'm removing instead of installing first. I'll show you here in just a minute. But you can add a new version, right? So you can choose what version of Proton you'd like to get. Right? They got all sorts of them in here. So if you're on the Proton DB and they tell you to use Proton 7.2, 7.10, 7.8, whatever, you can go ahead and get those from here. Click install and you're good to go. You can also click the info button for each one of these as you select them. and They'll tell you exactly what was fixed or what was added to this particular release. So that's kind of cool. You get a pretty good overview as to what that might buy you. Most of the time, of course, you're just going to be going off of some Reddit post or some video saying, hey, this works best under Proton 7-20. And that may be because uh, video playback of WMV videos was broken, right? So there's a whole bunch of reasons why you might use a particular version of Proton. And if you haven't looked at my Proton 101 video to understand more about what Proton is and how it works, you may want to check that out after this video. So yeah, this is it. Um, it's pretty simple. Now, the one thing that you do have to know is that um, once you've made changes to your list of installed Protons, You'll go back to Steam and you'll see if you attempt to change your protons, the ones that you've installed or removed don't reflect in here yet. See, I, I removed like 15 and 19, but they're still here. So in order to get Steam to understand that you've made proton, GE Proton changes, uh, you'll need to go ahead and physically close Steam, exit Steam so it's completely closed. And then when we rerun Steam, it will pick up all the changes of Proton versions and you can see that in just a moment. We'll go back and look at Overwatch again and see which GE protons are available at that point. Okay, so let's go check out our compatibility proton versions. Ah, there you go. You can see 15 and 19 are gone. Had I installed a new one, it would have been available there for me to use. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe, hit the notification. As always, thanks so much for watching. Take care.